also I took a second I'm gonna take a test shot at 600 yards um, with a 77 grain MagTech bullets I've got a primary arms one to six power AC SS radical scope here so it's got the chevron with a horseshoe around it and then the graduated BCD radical 400 marked at 400 and 600 800 um, but it does have um, mill marks for 500 and 700 they're just not numbered so we'll just see what this does with a 77 grain bullet with this BDC radical at 600 yards yeah with 77 grain If it hit a little low, just shoot another one. Yep, we're a little low. So it might do better with six, 62 grains. So we're hitting about 650. So we'll do a little elevation change and see if I can't put one on it. Right next to it. One more and we'll go check it out. Oh, that was way high. Okay, I threw that one. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna do the same thing with a 40 grain and see where the 40 grain hits at 600 yards. We know the 77 grain hits closer to the 650 mark, probably around 625. But um, we'll see these 40 grains might drop us significantly more. We'll see. Don't jerk the trigger. Make sure nobody's coming down the road. Same spot, no way. right on it holy crap so <laughs> that's amazing so this thing with the 40 grain bullets at 600 yards again hits around 625 yard mark 650 that's impressive all right so this is where i was shooting at i was shooting at that stick right there a piece of it I didn't know what it was up there it was just a bright target so my first round hit real low right here that's what that mark is and then I don't know where the one that was my 40 grain cider shot and then oh here 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 no, that's not it. That's a Cody print in mud. But my 70 grain hit somewhere down here too. And then when I raised elevation, with 77 grain, I hit this one. And then the 40, 40 grain hit this one. can see there's a piece of the bullet in here that's called the cup look and the whole lead came out and here's the piece of lead and there's the core so it's called the cup and the core so that core was sitting right there and the cup was sitting inside the dirt and then look here's another one look at that another cup and that's probably from the 40 grain hitting back over there and coming apart. Huh? So that's interesting. And then I wonder where the core of that is. Which it might be lying like right here. But then the shot that I pulled was up here. There's that one. That's so 
cool. But I'm not seeing the core of that other bullet. It probably skipped off 20, 30 feet away. As you see, they don't have much energy to go anywhere after 600 yards. So it's a very safe round to hunt Cody with. So yeah, there we go. Very cool. So let's see. So I had it right at 600. Coming from... I was up on that ridge line up there. So it'd come down, it would be about five feet low. Four to five feet low. And then when I corrected, I was aiming at about 625 to 6... Well, it's definitely under 650, so I'd say about 625. And then I hit this one, bam, which was coming from this angle. Man, I would have wounded a coyote if I was aiming for the heart. I probably would have missed it altogether. But that's fine. I just aim a little bit closer to the 625 to 620 yard range and should be spot on yeah 